it's more people watching our match. You know, like I had a huge like a huge number of people watching my matches sure. today. And uh, like there's a match for top eight on camera. And yep. more people are watching our like match for nothing. Yep. Just cause uh, I think the decks it looks are awesome. last to play. It's uh, uh, this is like super fun to play. Uh, it's uh it's basically a Tezzeret deck. Sure, it's like built very much around the planeswalker. Like he's yeah, what you're it's doing. A, it's a planeswalker deck. I, yep. Uh, I actually brewed it up uh, last night. Uh, I had knowledge of apparently uh, somebody got tenth Douglas McKay. Douglas McKay. Okay. Tenth uh, place tenth at place uh, the Wester week. Legacy Open. If you want to look that list up. Yeah. Uh, and I knew of his list. I knew he had like Fettergeist and a couple of things. But the primary thing I wanted to do is I wanted to cast a Snaring Bridge because I think it's a very powerful card in the format, and then supplement it with planes. Protect. Use yeah. Insuring Bridge to protect Planeswalkers. There aren't very many legacy playable right. Planeswalkers. I think they're about two and a half. Like in uh, in standard, people use Lingering Souls for this purpose a lot. Like Lingering right. Souls can defend your Tamiyo or whatever, and it's not indefinitely. Used, not indefinitely, but Insnaring Bridge is an actual hard lock against some decks. Like there are creature decks that are cold to it. A lot of sneak attack decks have big problems. Correct. Yep. So Insnaring Bridge is definitely one to look at. I know Drew himself actually talked about uh, a similar deck a while back when he ran uh, ran a bunch of Soul Lands and Chalice of the Void. It was just a Chalice deck that also happened to run Bridge. That was actually yeah. the first Legacy deck I ever uh, sleeved up and played. Oh, nice. In nice. a Tuesday night Star City Games Legacy event. It was not very good. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> the premise was sound. I've, I've never been a big fan of... Uh, like When you think Tezzeret, you kind of want the Ancient Tomb City of Traders stuff, yeah. Moxes, a bunch of like fast mana that is not stable. Right. However, I went for more stable mana. So I, I could play a normal game. I'm not trying to just accelerate out of Tezzeret. Sure. And I actually only have uh, one Chalice of the Void. I know, I in saw. In my main deck. There's one Chalice in the main deck. Douglas McKay's list from Wester, I noted, it ran four. It was very focused on getting Chalice out. It ran a bunch of the unstable mana, as you said, with yeah. Box Opal was one of its mm -hmm. big accelerators. Uh, but this list, you're more, you've got the one to two to four with your Trinket Mages, which are my exciting. My favorite card in all of my, well, uh, second favorite. Second favorite. Second favorite. Merfolk Looter on That's top. That's no Merfolk okay. Looter, yeah. Well, we're, we're at least I dedicated. My favorite constructive playable card, how about that? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you made Merfolk Looter work. <laughs> also true. <laughs> so we've got Trinket Mages, which in this deck have let you do a lot yeah, of things. Yeah, Trinket Mage is absurd in this deck. Let's just run down the list of things you can search for a Trinket Mage in the main deck, and then we'll jump to the sideboard. Okay. We've got Chrome Mox. Yep. Sensei's Divining Top, which is just an all around. There are good three Chrome Moxes, uh, and then we have yeah, we have four bullets, I believe. Yep. You have the one, not counting the lands, of course. Right. Four spell bullets. You I have guess. the one Sensei's Divining Top, all around value card. You've got Pithing Needle, which is a really good card right now. It stops Gristlebrand a lot of the time. Mm -hmm. uh, it's also good against Sneak Attack to prevent them from Ember Cooling you, obviously. I'm sure there yes. are even uh, more um, applications. It always has something, uh, it's part of your lock against uh, Maverick. Oh, you need to go to you need once to you lock find Solid Pride Mage. Yeah, because Solid Pride Mage is good. Right, and yeah. then you have to get to zero cards in hand. You also have to kill their Mother of Runes. Yes, <laughs> or not Mother of Runes, but yeah. their Noble Hierarchs. Oh yeah, because the Exalted yeah, Treasure yeah. will slide it right under Bridge. Right, something you got to watch out for. Mm -hmm. uh, We've uh, got um, the Singleton Chalice of the Void. The Singleton Chalice we already discussed. Very good against Rug Delver specifically, which is a deck filled with one drops. Uh, in fact, my first three wins today were just were Chalicing Rug Delvers. Or? Yes, Chalice Bridge. You're dead. Uh, Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> and Nihil Spellbomb, which is obviously a card you're going to get value from with Reanimator being like right. the and deck it, du jour. So it's to speak. the most main deckable one. Yes, uh, because it's a free roll with the cycle. Yes, if you draw, it's not obviously not good against. I mean, yeah. And but drawing a card or whatever, it's like standard. I played Nihil Spellbomb in standard as well. Sure. We're like the grave. A lot of the graveyard stuff is very incidental, so you need to be able to like draw a card, get your, you know, yeah. do something in addition. Like scav That's why scavenging use. Like the Graveyard Hate is powerful, Definitely. but except for a very small amount of decks, you yep. need to get value out of your Graveyard When hit. you can afford to tack it onto something that's just already like semi-fine in your deck, right. it's, it's a big deal. And um, it's synergy within the deck, you know, Tezzeret and Trinket Mage, etc., etc. You've also got the one Vault and the one Seat that the Trinket Mage can Yeah, find, and if I had to redo the deck, I would play uh, quite a few more. I'd, really? Yeah, I would uh, consider playing a Darksteel Citadel. Mm. Uh, a lot of times I would Trinket Mage for any... Artifact land, sure, and then play a Tezzeret and want to make it a five-five. In fact, against Drew Levin in the last round, I did exactly that, and he, <laughs> then he wastelanded me. And yeah, Darksteel Citadel does not have that problem. So that's true. Darksteel Citadel would not have had that problem. 
Uh, looking just at the main deck real quick, I'll oh, actually, before we go on about changes, which I was about to ask you, how has Baleful Shrieks been? Because it was definitely four of in Douglas's deck, is it four of in your deck? Absolutely. It would be like a seven or eight of. Uh, the card is <laughs> the card is fantastic. fantastic. It's like it's what allows you to not try and jump from like zero to four mana. Okay. Right away. So uh, it, it kind of lets you develop. develop. Yeah. Uh, and it, and on top of that, I it lets you to develop against fair decks. It's very good against fair decks. Not so good against unfair decks. So you have to have some sort of like development process against them. Sure. And that's where I uh, have uh, thought seize and forceful. Yep. Uh, so. Legacy those cards let you play like a normal magic game. You see those like in reanimator decks. But those are like combo decks. And this is just like a mid range ish control. Like, this is probably what qual qualifies as a control deck in Legacy. Did you consider running uh, Thoughtcast like at any point, really? Uh, I know you've already got Brainstorms as a. Yeah, I have Brainstorm. Best card drawing spell in the format. <laughs> right, right. But, uh, um, I. Thoughtcast wasn't really. I'd rather run Thirst for Knowledge, to be Down honest. Thirst? Okay. Uh, the problem with Thirst is a lot of stuff costs three. Yep, that's true. I have I have Vendillion Clicks, Trinket Mages, and Snaring and Bridges, Snaring of course. Bridges. Uh, Post board, you have Lilianas, which are correct. also going to matter. Yeah, yeah. so I didn't want to play that. And I also did. Like, I like card drawing in Legacy to be immediate. Sure. Because when, when you have to set up card drawing, you're not doing it to find yeah. gas, you're doing it to find some sort of like trump card. Yep. Like you don't you don't want to have to like develop to get your card draw. You weren't card draw to develop you. <laughs> right. So to speak. Exactly. That's, I mean that's exactly what I mean. Okay. Uh, you need to find stuff right away. You can't you can't afford to develop and then find you know do stuff after that. So you're talking. You said you think the deck's actually good, which is a uh, nice perk for excellent. a legacy deck. Right. Is it, is it fun? Uh, it's a blast to play. I had a like I actually built built it last night just mm -hmm. uh, wanting something else to play. I, did, I knew I didn't want to play Dredge in the open. <laughs> Uh, I played Dredge in the Invitational, sure. and I mean, it's one of those things where I didn't have enough time to uh, work on two formats. Yeah, you so to, you played something you knew. I play, I knew I was going to play something I knew for one of the formats and work on the other format. Right. And I felt like I needed to work on Standard because I just didn't have anything. Like, I need to... Standard is a format where I needed to play more sure. to get experience, whereas Legacy was something I could be familiar with and just update what I've known. Okay. So I definitely, and Dredge was allowed me do that for Legacy. So were there, I focus um, on Standard. Were there any changes you think you'd make to uh, the basic main deck here? Um, I think, I would, yeah, I would definitely want a fourth Tezzeret. A fourth uh, Tezzeret, okay. You can't get really get flooded on them. You have the Chromox, yeah. and also it's how you win. Okay. Uh, there are lots of times where I was just digging to Tezzeret. Are you just, just generally just ultimating them out of the game most of the time? Uh, what's going almost on? everyone. Almost I did everyone? not ultimate Jace anybody. I attacked with uh, Trinket Mage Vendillion Click stuff a couple times. A couple times? Yeah. Um, Do you find yourself assuming a more aggressive role against the slower decks with those cards? or? Uh, no, I actually uh, just find myself trying to lock them. Like trying to disrupt them with Thought Season Forcible. Okay. And uh, getting some, like... Whether it's a Chalice of the Void or a Snaring Bridge, getting some sort of like lock piece in play where it shuts off a large percentage of their deck. Now your sideboard has a few more bullets. Yeah, we've got uh, the Graph Digger's Cage and Tormod Script, which is just really diversifying your graveyard hate. Very right. Similar uh, cards. I've, I felt that Reanimator would be insanely popular. Most right. of Star City right. Blue yeah. uh, played Reanimator in the uh, open. A lot of people, Dredge seems to be picking up as people think it's a very powerful deck. I sure. think between those two decks, Legacy warrants a huge threshold of graveyard hate cards yeah most people have stuck to like a three to four range do you think no, that's, that's going no, up now it's not, like a, six not to enough eight? yeah it, it will needs to go up it needs to go up okay uh, so if you're looking out there looking to like how to get improve your yeah how to get <laughs> edges uh get some free wins against reanimator and dredge it's worth free it wins are good I, I feel like it's i feel like it's worth it like i had a reanimator match where i turned zero i have four ley line on the board yep i, I turned saw zero, those yeah. turned zero one of them played a turn one cage <laughs> She's like, this is how it's going. Like, yeah, this is how long good luck. Uh, and then, like, 12 turn later, he show and tell, and I put in a staring bridge into play. <laughs> I, but, like, there's, he's, I'm not going to lose with that draw, like, to no, a reanimator yeah. deck in a million years. Nope. They're well, I, pretty icy. I definitely did oh. what I needed to do to uh, get the uh, reanimator matchup. To, and the dredge matchup to where I wanted. Like, sure. As a dredge player, I respect like how powerful it is, what you need to do okay. to get over the hump. 
You've also got some interesting ones here. I don't think Parrish isn't that surprising. It's very good in Smash. I wish I had. I wish I had more. Um, I don't. Based on my matches against Drew, I also my draw was against Evan Wegstaff. Okay. Uh, who he's playing Maverick? He's Ladies playing Maverick. Please he's an excellent player. Uh, started the Invitational very well. Uh, top eight at the Cincinnati Open, oh, Columbus Schrader. Open. I'm sorry. And uh, the. Uh, so you you want more parachutes I, against and Maverick? I, and Maverick was really tough. I used to have a draw against Evan. Is the curse scroll also a the curse scroll is a or? curse scroll is a personal favorite. Personal favorite, uh, and I think it's very good. It's obviously like uh, old it school red decks problem. used to play in Sandbridge Bridge curse scroll. Yeah, yeah, it's, that, it's a legitimate one condition once you have right, a block in place. Exactly, so. and trick imageable. Yep. Did you uh, end up actually like curse scrolling anyone a, a fair bit today, or did it not? Really yeah, uh, like? on camera, I was able to finish off a Karn Liberated with a curse scroll. A scroll Karn Liberated curse there's, scroll today. There's some, yeah, there's some numbers that I needed to <laughs> cut this, this microphone. Yeah. Our little uh, Mike, lavalier, I think we call him. Uh, is that really good? Yeah. Right. All right. It's the collar, bud. Yeah. <laughs> he put on my on my shirt, man. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how this uh, microphone stuff works. That's that's very reasonable. I myself have learned a great deal over the past yeah. few months. Um, well, guys, we're about to head to the Legacy Open Top Eight. We're gonna go ahead and throw it back to another sideboard feature, which is our Legacy metagame. And enjoy. Thanks for coming in, Adam. Yeah, thanks for having me. Mm -hmm. SCG Live is brought to you by StarCityGames.com, producer of the world's most advanced Magic the Gathering app, SCG Mobile. The app is now free, and you can start accessing StarCityGames.com content